Hello everyone, it's Ron from Ron Carter Photography and today we're going to make a short video on the subject of uh, cl booking clients and um, how you go about it. You know, each pe person has a preference. Some people enjoy booking online through um, sites such as uh, Square. I use Square for payments, uh, you know, Square.com. I use it also for people that can actually go online and book them pay for their sessions online, which is very helpful when you're working with uh, corporate clients. You know, sometimes with the COVID, they don't want to come face to face or touch. So, you know, they go out, they go online and they they use uh, the squ use Square. Um, one of the things, let me adjust this light up just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Uh, anyway, so my experience being is, is, you know, in recent I had some clients that would call me. Um, and this has happened to everyone in the past where the client would call you up and book a session and i actually had a gentleman last night call up and book a session for today and he canceled he didn't show and when i tried to call him back the uh number was blocked so i couldn't call so either it was either a person who's trying to avoid me because he didn't come or it was a person just trying to find out my rates because i don't advertise my rates online except if you go to square and book it on that way but anyway, so I'd like some inputs from everybody and find out what you do. You know, you can be, um, you can have clients that fail to come and you can tell them that there's a uh, cancellation fee. That's good. Uh, but you got to remember in a lot of cases, unless the person has a history of it, they can go to their uh, credit card company and, you know, fight it saying it was a fraudulent card in most cases 90 even 90 percent or 95 percent of the time unless they have a history of it the credit card companies are going to side with your client so you've lost them the money and the time and the effort um but you know the thing about it is too is trying sometimes to demand certain things from your clients it puts you in a spot to where you may become um you know um people view it as being defiant being as uh you know, they're just trying to get the money that you invested in your time setting up for a session. So a lot of people don't see that. So I'd like to know what your views are. Me, myself, personally, you know, I've had people book online, pay online, no problem. I canceled, pay the fee. I've had people come in. Like I said, I had a guy last night book uh, for some corporate headshots. He was scheduled to come in this morning. He didn't show. I tried to call his number. and My number was blocked. Um, I tried to reach out through him uh, to him and uh, with no results um, you know my wife asked me if I would actually uh, go ahead and book him again next time if he tries to call him book he's going to pay up front uh, but you know there you can create some fr friction between you and your clients and in the future you know if you're depending on the size of the community and, and over time if you create a conflict the word gets around that you that you're hard to work with uh you know sometimes the, the bad voice is overpowers the good and i would just like to know your opinion on it about booking prior uh, booking and how you might overcome it um i've had maybe in the you know and over the years of doing this uh i've maybe had two clients three clients at most that didn't show up and didn't pay it's not really that big a deal uh but anyway just give me your viewpoints. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to be putting more videos up. There's just been an update from Air Pro uh, and also to Photoshop. I'm going to take a look at and see what the updates are. And we'll put out some new videos. Again, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video.